This is meteorologist Dan Baumgart with a briefing on the severe storm potential for today, March 28th. We expect storms to form on and off through the day today, especially in the afternoon and early evening hours as strong low pressure, uh, a strong low pressure system moves through the region. Um, looks like mainly a hail threat from these storms along the I-90 corridor and slightly further south. Uh, but as we start getting into this Prairie du Chien to Waterloo to Dubuque area, we are more concerned that there could be a tornado potential and also uh, storm threat for damaging winds later in the afternoon. Definitely a day to stay weather aware because the forecast down in this southern portion of the area on this map uh, could be changing. So here is the forecast for tornadoes and you can see that there's quite a uh, a change once you enter into Wisconsin here with a diminishing tornado potential. We're watching for the, the environment for tornadoes, however, to possibly move a little bit further north during the day today. Uh, and if it does so, there's a potential for strong and long-lived tornadoes to get into parts of southwest Wisconsin and northeast Iowa. If you do have loved ones further south along I-80 into Illinois, um, do tell them that there is a strong and long-lived tornado threat there this afternoon. So just looking at how today is shaping up, we're going to have periodic showers and thunderstorms on this simulated uh, radar loop through the day today. It looks like about early afternoon to mid-afternoon we have some storms form and move through the area uh, that could form some, uh, could produce some hail, uh, possibly up to an inch in diameter. Um, and then as we get into later uh, in the afternoon and early evening, we see stronger storms form across the area again. So just waves of showers and thunderstorms. Again, here's that hail uh, band of first thunderstorms that we're going to see, the strongest thunderstorms uh, during the early afternoon hours at least, moving through the area toward the northeast. As we get towards the 5 to 7 time frame, we're going to be monitoring through the day if this area has a heightened tornado uh, threat. So please stay weather aware and watch for updates from the National Weather Service. But you can see storms forming here around 5 p.m. and then moving eastward uh, onto the Mississippi River by 7 and then further east as we go through the evening here. So it's a short-lived tornado threat that could be possible later in the day today. Uh, we are also expecting an inch of rainfall uh, over the next 24 to 36 hours and that will cause river rises and possibly some flooding as well. So again, stay weather aware, especially if you're further south uh, in this area of southern Wisconsin and northeast Iowa. Uh, stay weather aware as the day goes on and look for updates from the National Weather Service in La Crosse.